hey, internet, I'm making a video game, but it has a problem. If you're losing, there's no way to have a comeback. And in this video, we're gonna try to fix it. So this game I'm making is a missile launching strategy game where two teams fight it out until one has destroyed the other's base. You win by being better than your opponent at making money, launching missiles, and boosting your defenses. It's inspired by a classic Warcraft 3 custom map called Missile War, which for some reason just kind of died out, unlike some other amazing Warcraft 3 custom maps. Anyway, the game has a problem. Basically, as soon as one team starts falling behind, they're pretty much screwed. This is because missile launcher buildings fire automatically and cost the same no matter how many you have. So as one team's economy compounds, their damage output does too. The better the other team's doing, the more income they can invest in attacking you, which reduces your income, and you end up playing catch up while they keep snowballing. Basically, there's no real way to catch up. The only winning strategy is to not fall behind in the first place. Which is great if you're winning, but if you're losing, it feels like you're drowning, except instead of water, it's your tears, and instead of a flotation device, it's just your own sense of regret. And that's no fun, obviously. Some of the coolest moments of games are when you pull off a galaxy brain comeback and snatch sweet victory from the jaws of defeat. Die, die, die. This idea is simple. Instead of the missile launchers firing automatically every few seconds, I'll make it so the player needs to manually launch them. In other words, missiles will be built and stored at each launcher until the player chooses to release them. My hope is that this will change the meta to be more in waves, where players save up missiles for huge attacks and try to overwhelm the other team's defenses. To test this out, I created a new building that I called a missile generator. I basically just forked my missile launcher code, making it so they build and store missiles instead of automatically firing them. By the way, my game development strategy at this stage is to do only the bare minimum necessary to test each idea. So I'm pretty shameless about copy pasta, and I try to spend as little time on the art as possible, as you can probably tell. I also thought the player should be able to see how many missiles are ready at each generator, so I made the building show this at a glance. Once I made the generators, I needed to find a way to let the player launch them. The obvious thing to do would be to use a mouse. If you want to launch the missiles at a particular generator, just click on the generator and then launch the missiles. Except for this game, I've made a rule for myself that there is absolutely no mouse input allowed. Only keyboard commands. If that sounds like a stupid idea, well, maybe it is, but it's less stupid than carrying a mouse around in your backpack just in case you need to play a game that requires a mouse, since everybody knows that trackpads are completely useless for gaming. Anyway, so firing the missiles. The simplest thing I could think of was that if you're standing on a generator and press a key, it fires one of the stored missiles. As I was writing that code, it occurred to me that firing missiles one by one would be really tedious. So I changed it so that once you press the key, you fire one missile from each generator up to two squares away. This is probably also going to change the game's building meta, since now it's possible to optimize placement for maximum launching speed. Many stupid coding mistakes later, I got it working as intended. Let's play test. Three, two, one, go. All right, it's time to bank up. Classic two bank. Classic two bank strategy. Classic two bank strategy. It's the it's the initial anxiety. It of is knowing that you need more banks, but being unfortunately unable to procure those banks. That's right. And then there's always the question of when do you decide to move your banking operation up north? You move your banking operation up north? Yeah, you got it. Dude, then, I never move. So my then you can build operation. down. You know? Build down, bro. I build up. The real question is when does one st cease the banking and begin right. the killing? I have a hunch that like it's actually really important to build missiles early in this version. Really? Because, yeah, because it actually will store up. Oh, right? that's right. Because the longer you have the missiles right. there. So I'm building my missiles now and I'm making sure to do it in like a rectangle. And I also I have a ton of money so I can build a lot of missiles really fast. Yeah. So they're all starting to pop up now. They've all got one. Oh, this is good. I got a major, major missileage going on. I don't know what you're up to, but... Yeah, it's... It's can't possibly be better than my missile situation, I have to tell you that. I don't know about that. I am fairly I, I, confident I, in my superiority. Oh, dear lord, you have a lot of... <laughs> Holy sweet... Wow. <laughs> That's terrifying, actually. 
And button mash E. Oh my! Holy Moses, you're doing the same thing. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting hit. I'm getting yeah, hit. I... Oh, I got a shield up, dude. I'll, I have so much money, though, that it'll be easy. I just got to... Oh, up. you took a lot of damage to me. Yeah, That's... I didn't I didn't have any... Wait, I took damage or I did I, damage? I took a lot of damage. Yeah, I also took a lot of damage. Yeah. So, so, so I think yeah, we're this both is... kind of... Kind of wrecking it at this point. This is an interesting... I'm clear who will wreck the hardest. I'm just button mashing my missiles right now. I'm just trying to do any... Oh, and, and, now, you, and oh, now, now your shields okay. are back and my shields are down. Dude, this might be it. This is, a, this is a terrible turn of events for me. Your shields are down, but I'm also now out of missiles, basically. Yeah. I still have some around the fringes, but my like center missile areas where I have like, all the missiles are gone. Dude, I think you got this. I think you got this. I, I'm. You broke through my entire... Like, first, oh, wow, yeah, you got this, dude. You can totally I see, got can this. Can I see what's up on your side? Ooh, yeah. okay. Yeah, we're, um... Yeah, oh, man. That's, I, you that's know what it was? GG. You had that massive amount of... of I banked up. I, I thought that having missiles early would be useful, no. but the cost to my economy of doing that was too great. Yeah, I just have infinite money. Anytime I wanted, I can build literally anything. Well, isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Although, really although wonderful. I will say I'm that Jeff, now... I'm Jeff Bezos over here. Press it. <laughs> Jeff Bezos? Like like the B? Was that your joke? No. Oh, because that was really oh, good. Oh, because you hit B to yeah. build a bank? <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Is it pronounced Bezos or Bezos? I, I, don't, I mean, for this game, it's pronounced Bezos. I don't know if you're. Oh, I was just gonna say I don't know if you're as dead as, oh, as you think you are. But then I saw your dead. screen and it looks like this. Yeah, I have <laughs> literally every Dude, square. Dude, look at my screen and then look at your screen. Almost every square of your map. That is some military is dominance sad. right there. Oh my god. That is. Oh wow, this is just. Uh, that is a Fire Nation raid, my friend. I don't even think we accomplished what I set out to, which is like. I guess it, there definitely was more of a sense of not drowning, but now there's nothing that I can do, you know? Yeah, you're you're done. Yeah. So But in like a fun way. Cuz someone has to win, right? That's true. Like, that's true. I I did yeah. So what did you think? Like you can be falling I I don't know if you can be falling behind and still have a comeback because I was never falling behind because I'm amazing. <laughs> but, 